Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Lord. 2023, Naglin Elections. And today is going to be the last day of our prayer because I believe some of our election results are going to be out on the, what's the date today? On the third or the fourth? Yeah, not sure, but if you guys know the date, just let me know. Um, welcome, we have one person watching. Welcome back. Um, lovely to have you here with me praying together. So obviously, um, when I jump in for prayer, I'm not the only one praying, you know, like I really want us to pray together because TZ, uh, Tainuo, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Hi, welcome everybody um, joining me in prayer. And um, we come together as a family and we pray. Um, because if we're not going to pray, who's going to pray, right? Um, if we're not going to carry our state, if we're not going to carry Naglin in our shoulders, who is going to carry Naglin, right? Who's going to stand in faith? Who's going to stand in the gate? And who's going to be the voice crying out for um, our, our, our place, our, our, how do you say, our hometown? You know, we are, we represent Naglin. And so thank you so much once again for joining me in prayer, you know, um, and I really encourage you, obviously, I'm the one hosting this, but tonight, I want us to just focus our hearts, focus our eyes onto the Lord because we do this for Him and we do this so that He can hear us. Um, May for Tripura. Yes, we will be remembering Tripura in our prayer as well. I'll just shut that down. Yeah, we'll be praying for Tripura, Mankalaya as well. Um, anyways, um, before we pray today, um, I know that there were some people who left a comment saying that they didn't believe in God or they were saying that it's not going to work. But today I just want to bring an encouragement before we pray, encouragement on prayer and why we need to pray, you know. Um, first, for me, the first reason I pray is because I have prayed in the past before. And I have seen the power of prayer in my own life. I've prayed for myself. I've prayed for my family members. I've prayed for a very difficult situation and God came through for me, obviously. So like I've said before, it's a personal testimony for me praying. But the most importantly, the reason why we pray is because it's the will of God. And the Bible tells us, you know, God tells us to pray. So I'm just going to read out some scripture for us so that, like I say, we always come back to the word of God. You know, I can sit here and give you guys what I think about prayer, but that has no power. The only thing that has power and authority is the word of God. So we always go back to the word of God because it's the final word, you know, it's what we hold on to. It's what we believe. So, um, I'm going to read out some few scriptures. The first one is Hebrew 4.16 and it says, Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. You know, the verse that says, Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. You know, with God, that's what he says. Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. If we draw close to the Lord, he's going to draw close to us. You know, sometimes we say, mm, you know, like, I, I, I don't, I don't think, I don't feel God. I don't, like, I've tried, but I don't feel Him or I don't experience Him. But the Word of God is clear. Like, what it means to draw near is to come with a heart of repentance, you know. Come with a heart of willingness to find out, to know your Creator. It needs to be a heart, passion and desire to know the Lord. And in any cost, you know, you stick to it. So that's what it means. Draw near and I will draw near to you. And what we do in prayer, in prayer we draw near to God. Amen. With God, all things are 
possible, Susan. Amen to that. I believe with God all things are possible. Yes, so, so true. And in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18, it says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Now, a lot of people say, pray without ceasing. So does it mean that I'm going to pray like 24-7? Pray, 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 pray. What am I supposed to pray? This pray without ceasing, what it means is to have a heart that is always aware of the presence of God, is always aware of the eyes of the Father looking at us, with us, journeying with us 24-7. That's the presence of God. That's being aware of the presence of God is mean in that sense. It's like praying without ceasing, connected to Him 24-7 because we're never alone. You know, the moment we receive Jesus into our hearts, you know, the moment we believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that He rose from the death and that He died for our sins, that's the moment when we are born again. So what does the born again mean? It means that Obviously, our human fleshly body, we cannot be born again. We can't go back into our mother's womb and be born again. What it means is a spiritual birth. You know, every human being are a spirit being as well as a physical being, you know. So our spirit, the moment we receive Jesus into our hearts and receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, our spirit is born of God. You know, our spirit becomes born again. And we are included in the family of God. And so what I was trying to say is that from that moment, we're never alone. The Holy Spirit is always with God. And the Bible says we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So this praying without ceasing is, 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 is the heart attitude of always being conscious of the presence and the Spirit of God that's within us. You know, we that's what it means. I For me, that's my translation. I, I always take it that, Wherever you are, it doesn't matter where you are at the point of your life. If you believe in Jesus, the Holy Spirit is in you. And you need to be aware of the presence of God, the Spirit of God living inside of you. And so it says, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances. It doesn't say in some circumstances. It says in all circumstances, which is very hard. Uh, I've been in that situation where... I actually wasn't able to give thanks to God. And yeah, it's hard. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. You know what is the will of God? The will of God is for us to pray. Um, you know, in Old Testament, I can't remember the book in the Bible, but it says, my house shall be called a house of prayer. My house shall be called a house of prayer. The house of God needs to be called a house of prayer. So every church that identifies as Jesus, their Lord and Savior, they need to be praying because that's what the Bible says. God says, my church, my house will be called a house of prayer. So I'm just encouraging us today because I know in the physical realm sometimes it's impossible to see what God is doing behind, behind, behind the door. It's like it's hard to see what God is doing within the hearts of the people that we're praying for. Because sometimes things just happen in, this, uh, in, the, in the physical realm and it's just so hard and it gets discouraging. But why do we need faith? We need faith so that we can believe and we can hold on to what God says and not be discouraged, right? So I want to encourage us to pray because every time we pray together, even yesterday, there's so many of you joined me. I, I, I believe that you weren't just watching, but I believe that you were in faith with me praying, right? So even yesterday we prayed and I know that there were things that were shifting in the spiritual realm. And I just want to repeat the scripture verse that says, our battle is not flesh and blood. You know, the Bible says our battle is not fighting, you know, like um, with uh, actual guns and machineries. Our battle is in the spirit realm. And how do we fight our battle? On our knees praying. This is this is our battlefield. It's first the spiritual realm. And then after the spiritual realm, 
the physical realm is manifested. Whatever is manifested in the spiritual realm, physical realm follows that. So um, I'm going to read the next verse. It's in Philippines 4, 6, 7. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. See, the Bible is clear. Don't be anxious about anything. Because, why? Because worrying about something or getting anxious about something is not going to change anything. The Bible says, just because you worry and stuff like that, your white hair is not going to turn black or maybe the other way around. Um, you can't change anything worrying. But instead of worrying, you can do something very productive. And what is that? But in everything, by prayer and supplication, submitting everything unto the Lord. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. I love this beautiful verse because in this world, it's very difficult to find peace. Thank you. Um, I see Ramu Ram, Rem Ruata visit, um, joining us from Mizoram. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, yeah, so I was just going on about how... Um, what was I saying? Can you guys help me? I kind of lost track. Anyways, I'll just go back to my verse. I kind of forgot what... Forgot my train of thought, but I was talking about anxiety and oh, and I was actually talking about how I love this Philippians four sixty seven this verse. I love this verse because in this world, even if you go and look for peace, the peace that the world give us is so temporary. You know, we can have money, and we can have um, security for a while, but even money itself, it will just go out. It'll go out like running water and there is nothing consistent in this world. There's nothing. Even rich people, the rich people are way, way restless than people who don't have money because now they have to, you know, be very conscious about their treasures, their wealth on earth. So really in this world, there is no peace. But then God promises this peace that comes only from God which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. You know, only Christ can give us peace, an absolute peace of heart and a peace of mind. And I think the peace of heart and the peace of mind ultimately comes from Christ Jesus as we put our trust in Him. Let's say, for example, you're going to go to sleep tonight. Do you trust that do you trust what Jesus said that if we die, we will go to um, heaven because we believe in Jesus and we become a family of Christ? If we believe that, we don't have to be afraid of rumors of wars or of, um, you know, any um, calamities or stuff like that. So I think, yeah, I think I love this verse. Absolutely love this. And I'm just going to read that again. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. So tonight we're going to do that. Tonight we're going to be, we're going to give every worries that we have um, unto the Lord around, especially around this election. And I've put, put down some points as well. So we're going to put it, give it to God. And in everything, we're going to pray and we're going to give thanks to the Lord as well. Uh, my computer is locked okay and then um yeah that's the pattern we're gonna follow right um and then i'm just gonna read the last verse first john 5 14 to 15 and this is the confidence that we have towards him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us and if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask we know that we have the request that we have asked for him you know, the other day I was talking about how every prayer, we need to go back to the Word of God because it's important that we are aligning our prayer requests with the Word of God. And I believe that, hi Jay, 
And I believe that every word of God is, I mean, I believe that the scripture is definitely the word of God and it is the will of God. So um, today I just wanted to pray for, um, yeah, the votes. Um, I'm not sure, guys, um, just let me know if you know if tomorrow is going to be the last day of elections because um, I've been obviously following the news and then um, I've been hearing a lot of like people um, doing proxy votes. Um, what that means is people are voting for another person. People are um, taking other people's names and they're voting. So it seems um, at this election 2023, we have a lot of proxy votes that's been um, recorded in the registry. So we're going to pray for that firstly because um, we want to have a fair election. We want justice to rule um, and we need the help of God for um, people to recognize what votes are false and what votes are true. And it's also taking the right as a citizen of India, not being able to vote and someone stealing our vote. Actually, that is a human right and that shouldn't be done. It's absolutely illegal and it's not okay. So we're going to pray against that. We're going to pray that um, um, God would give, you know, our people, our leaders, uh, the inspectors um, inspecting the voting um, polls uh, for them to have integrity. Is that okay? Sorry, Jane, did you want me to move? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, we're just having a prayer. Uh, no, no, it's just an online prayer for Naglin. We're having um, elections. <laughs> All right. No worries. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Um, let's pray for that first name. Let's pray together, I think. Thank you, Father. I just come before you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we just bring um, Naglin to you today, Father. Father, Lord, as we've come, get it here, Lord God, with um, our community, Father, Lord God, we stand together in faith, Father God. And your word says it's your will for us to come in prayer and in faith, um, not being anxious about anything, but in everything with thanksgiving and in supplication, Lord God, we bring our requests and our prayers to you, Father. So today we are bringing, Lord God, our prayer requests, Lord God. Father, Lord, um, we want to pray, Lord God, for um, the votes that's been registered, Father, Lord God. We know that there is a lot of proxy votes. A lot of people have been voting for other people without their consent, Father God, and that is not okay, Father. So, Father, we ask of you, Lord God, to intervene in this situation, Father, that you would give um, the inspectors or like the people who are counting the votes um, to do it with integrity, Lord. And I pray for your strength and for your wisdom and your integrity, Lord. And I pray for the fear of God to fall upon them, God, so that they will do the job with full integrity, Lord God, that there'll be no um, illegal, Lord God, matters going, Lord God, behind those counters, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray for you, angels, Lord God, over every, Lord God, voting polls, Lord God, every location, Lord God. We pray for your angels to surround those places. We pray for righteousness and justice, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we come against every illegal work in the mighty name of Jesus. And, and right now, we just declare, Lord God, for your righteousness to reign in those places, Father. And we just, Lord God, bring this prayer to you, Lord God. And we believe, we know that you are listening and that you are working on our behalf, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, and also, um, someone, someone com commented saying, oh, please close your eyes while praying. You know, it's not very nagra of you or something like that. That person said that. But I just wanted to clarify. The reason why I've got my eyes open is because I have people who I'm leading together in, worship, uh, in prayer. And um, God is not fast about if you have your eyes open or shut. What God is fast about is if you have your heart open or shut. You can have your eyes open or you can have your eyes shut, 
but you can have your heart closed, okay? So the Bible says, God is not a respecter of man. God looks at the heart. So God is more interested in your heart than your eyes. So I just wanted to clarify that. If um, The problem is that it's legal, legalism, you know, just, yeah, do's and don'ts. So anyways, that's a different topic. Um, I'm not going to get into that, but I just want to clarify. The reason I have my eyes open is because I'm making sure that I'm present. I'm here with you guys. It's just a gesture of respect for you guys being here. Um, the next point is, um, yeah, so we've covered the proxy votes. And then the next one, um, if you guys have any prayer points uh, regarding our election, please do put it down because I think for me, I'm very... Uh, my understanding for the election because I'm not in Naglan, it's very narrowed. And for me, I'm just praying whatever I think in my head is the issue. So please, you know, like even after I finish this video, if you guys think that we need to be praying for certain um, aspects and certain areas that I haven't covered, I know that I haven't covered a lot of areas, but if you know, and if you have, please personally pray, but also put down in the chat so that I can also pray my personal time, all right? So I think for me tonight, the last prayer point would be, um, you know, the election. Oh, uh, Rachel says, some of the constituency results. Oh, thank you for letting me know that. Oh, I didn't know that. See, I'm not aware of that. So those uh, messages are actually really helpful for me so that I am aware. I'm aware. So, so for those um, regions that... Um, the election results are not out yet. Let's just pray for them um, that the right candidate will be elected, that God will choose a leader who's going to love our people, who's going to care for our people, who's going to do the right thing for our people, who will not sell our land for money, but who will walk in the fear of the Lord and do good for the people. So um, let's pray for, um, yeah, let's pray for, um, yeah, the, the right candidates to be elected. Father God, I just come before you, God. Thank you, Lord, that um, there are sometimes, Lord God, there are certain things like this that is so beyond us. And sometimes we feel like we're so powerless. But the good thing is that, God, in you, Lord God, like um, one of our sisters declared, there's nothing impossible to you, Father. So we believe a God who, Lord God, can move a mountain. We believe a God who parted the Red Sea for the Israelites. We, par we, we believe in a God who raised his own son, Jesus, from the dead. We believe in a God who is so mighty and yet so loving, who is so holy and yet so humble, Father. We believe in a God who is alive, who hears every prayer. God that we bring Lord God so today Father we want to thank you because our hope is not in man our hope is not in things that are fading away our hope is in the everlasting God the God of all ages the rogue of ages Lord God you are the God who reigns forevermore you have no beginning and you have no end you breathed out the stars and they came to being and that's who we put our trust in tonight, Father. So we are not helpless, we're not hopeless, but we are hopeful tonight. We are helped. Our help, where does our help come from? Our help comes from the maker of heaven and earth. Our help comes from you, God. And tonight, Father, we're asking of you, Lord God, to intervene, Lord God, for Lord God, the election of the right leaders, Lord God, in different districts, Father God, that, Lord God, that you would intervene, God, that you would raise the right leaders, Lord God, for every district, every locality, um, God, that you would raise the right leader, a leader who will walk in the fear of the Lord, a leader who will, Lord God, walk in integrity, a leader who will walk in righteousness and display justice, Father, a leader who will love our people, a leader who will be compassionate, a leader who will see the needs of our people and cater to their needs, Father God. Father, we need a leader who will love you and who will lead our states with wisdom. 
Father God. So we just pray right now, Father, that you would, Lord God, enable the right people to come in power and in authority, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Father. Who are Okay, I'm just looking at the chat at the moment. Please pray for our Naga leaders who are go going to serve for five years to bring change in Naga Amen. Okay, that's actually a very good power, uh, pr not PowerPoint, <laughs> prayer point. Please pray for the candidate who won the election so that they will... Yes, Um. hey guys, if you're seeing these messages, let's just start praying um, together because um, this is not my show, this is our show, this is us coming together, the presence of God is here, and we're praying to our Heavenly Father, right? Father, I just want to pray for um, uh, leaders who have actually been elected and who's going to be serving for five years, Father. Five years is a long time, God, but five years can also be, can be a short time as well, Lord God, um, especially, Lord God, um, yeah, I, I'm just praying, Father, Lord God, this five years is going to come, Lord God. Let it be a shift in the leadership, Father. Come on, Lord God, that you would open the eyes of the leaders, that you open the heart of the leaders to see the truth, Father, and to see what we need in our land, God. At the moment, Lord God, what we need in our land, God, is a shift, is a spiritual shift, Father God, that our hearts... Lord God, should come back to our first love of our Heavenly Father, Lord God, Lord God. So I just pray, God, that our leaders, as they serve this five years, Lord, that you would meet with them, Lord God, that you would give them dreams and visions, that you would visit them, Father God, that you would, Lord God, open their hearts, Lord God, to you, Father, Lord God, that they will lead, Lord God, with integrity, that they will um, lead God, um, Lord, I also pray for the leaders to give them a heart and a love for our people, Nandlin, Father. That you would give them wisdom and the eyes to see the problems, the issues that we have as a community, Lord God. And that they will create a space for our people to flourish in every area, in, in the educational section, in the medical section, and in in every section of life, Father, Lord God, that um, our leaders would create a safe space base for our people to grow lord god in jesus name i pray please pray for the candidate who won the election yes god we just did that the results of Kurma town is declared that ndpp have won please do remember the leader to do the right thing for our yeah yeah lord god we just pray for Ke kohima lord god um the ndpp won lord god we just pray god we just pray right now lord god for your protection we pray for your wisdom over that leader and the party father lord god we pray for all the people that's involved in that party god that you lord god that you lord god would intervene that you lord god would give them the wisdom to lord god rule the people lord god thank you father Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. And thank you, Lord God. I just want to pray, Lord God, for everyone, Lord God, that's um, joined tonight, Lord God, for our prayer tonight, Father, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that we will remember, Lord God, that we are the sons and daughters of God, that we will remember the price that Jesus had to pay for our sins, Lord God, that we will remember the work of the cross that was done for us and for our salvation, Lord God, that we will not forget who we are and that we will be willing to rise up as sons and daughters and that we will be willing to shine our light so bright in these dark times, God, that you would give them boldness. Holy Spirit, right now I pray that you would just anoint, Lord God, um, anoint the, the people that are watching tonight, Father, with your anointing, Lord God, with your boldness and a fresh revelation of you and the truth, Lord. I pray for our hunger to arise, Father, Lord, and I just pray for the uh, Lord God of Naglin, Father God, for a hunger for you to arise, Lord God, that there'll be a hunger for the word of God, that there'll be a hunger for the truth. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much, guys. Um, as we come together and pray, I know things are shifting. I know God is moving. And so thank you so much for praying. And um, like I said, 
If there's any more prayer requests, just leave it down in the comments under this uh, video, and if, even after this end, so that I can revisit or we can revisit and we can pray together. Um, and I want to encourage you guys to continue to shine your light. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. Don't be ashamed. Has done enough. You know, Jesus has done everything for us. You know, even till death, um, he paid it all. So we don't have to be ashamed of Jesus. In fact, we have to be shouting from the rooftops. Yeah, so um, I'll leave you guys with that. Bless you all. And um, yeah, tomorrow we will be finding out a lot of the results. So um, yeah, just let's all pray. Even after elections, you know, let's not stop our prayer for Naglin. Um, yay, Boogie. She's my sister. Um, thanks for joining us, Boogie. Uh, anyways, love you all. Um, God bless you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.